Oh, what the? Oh, fuck. Fuck, that's gold. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. What the hell? You know, I, I would love to oblige and look at you, but I'm tied to a chair and you dumped water on me so I can't brush my hair out of my face, so it's a little hard to do that. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. Thank you. Now who the hell are you and why am I here? I'm sorry, what? No, no, I heard you. I'm just stunned right now. You kidnapped me from outside my home after I was returning from work because you wanted to get to my partner. What is this, a bad cop show? What do you want from them? Money. Really. You kidnapped the love of their life just to extort... How much did you say? Ten million dollars. Wow. It really is true. The youth of today have no ambition anymore. <laughs> oh, please. Of course you're young. Only a dumb kid would make a mistake as stupid as this and not consider the consequences of their actions. <laughs> did I strike a nerve, kid? <sighs> I wouldn't hit me again if I were you. Oh, because my partner, when they see what you've done to my face, you're not going to get your easy cash grab. You're going to be hauled away in a body bag. Because they're going to hit you multiple times with the side of a building? You'll be lucky if there's enough of your teeth to match dental records. I'm sorry, I have to spell this out for you? It's really not that hard to understand body bag. Duh! <sighs> yes, I am, in fact, calling you stupid. Because you are. This is an awful mistake, and you're going to pay for it with your life. If it were me, I'd be running, grabbing whatever I could carry and fleeing the country right now. Because when my partner's on a mission, they'll stop at nothing. They're relentless, ruthless, powerful. And you just stole their queen right off the board. You drew metaphorical blood, but they're going to spill your literal blood all over this floor. That is what I mean when I tell you that hitting me, bad plan all around. Because you just took away the person they care about the most and are now harming them. I hate to break it to you, bud, but you have no idea what you've gotten yourself into. You realize they've killed people for less than what you've done, right? Tell me something, kid. Are you working for someone else? Because the more useful you are to them, the more likely you are to stay alive longer. You want to live? Say you were working for one of the other bosses. Give them details, anything you have. <sighs> Look, you're a kid. You made a fucking stupid mistake. That's clear. But you don't seem as though you're doing this because you're passionate about joining the business. You seem... desperate. Or like you're following orders. Is that what's happening? Desperate. Why? Your little sister has leukemia and you needed money for her treatments. And she's only six. Ah, oh, jeez. And are you the only one looking out for her? Parents are dead. Wait, where is she right now? With friends. Okay. You're gonna have to pay for the beating and the kidnapping. No escaping that. But we aren't totally heartless. We'll make sure she gets the best care we can give her. She's got enough trouble without your stupidity adding to it. And she's an innocent. Good. It'll be nice once she starts getting treatment and those muscle spasms stop, right? Those must be really scary. <laughs> Liar.
I'm calling you a liar. Because muscle spasms aren't a symptom of leukemia in children. I bet you don't even have a younger sister. You're just a punk who's now realized what a huge mistake he's made, and you're trying to appeal to my humanity. I was an EMT before I met my partner and joined the business. I have some medical knowledge. I know what leukemia symptoms are in children. Oh! <laughs> Fuck. They're gonna make sure you live long enough to regret this. Because I will ensure that you do. I used to save lives. Do you really think it's gonna be hard for me to bring you back if you stop breathing? Trust me. I was very good at my job, and I'm going to enjoy bringing you back just so they can kill you all over again. <laughs> I've been kicked harder by real six-year-olds, bud. You're going to have to do better than that. Just remember, the more bruises you put on me, the more my partner's going to work you over. And I'm going to watch. Bold of you to assume that they won't. I was out to dinner with them once, and a waiter was rude to me when we asked to send a dish back because there was shrimp in it when we'd asked for no shrimp. Told me that they didn't care how rich we were. They'd been sending dishes back all night, and they were tired of entitled pricks like us. <laughs> Clearly, they had no idea who we were. That waiter didn't just lose their job. They were beaten within an inch of their lives, and after they got out of the hospital, they had several broken bones, including their skull and spine, detached retinas, extensive internal injuries, and brain damage. That's chronic pain and severe disability for the rest of their lives. And that was because the waiter was snippy. What do you think they're going to do to you, hmm? Ah! <sighs> They'll break you. And yeah, that's sadistic and cruel. But me? I'm going to put you back together, knowing that I'm sending you right back to be broken again, and again, and again, until I'm satisfied you've learned your lesson. And then, if you're very lucky and very apologetic, I'll let them give you a quick death. Because you won't consider life worth living after the stuff I'll ask them to do to you. They do this neat little trick with cigars and a switchblade that makes any stage magician look like an amateur. It is an ugly way to die. But damn. <laughs> if it isn't exhilarating to watch. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. But at least I'm not the idiot who kidnapped the partner of the most vicious crime boss in the country for money and then got cold feet and invented an imaginary kid sister with cancer to appeal to the softer partner. They're going to tell stories about you, you know. I heard about this one guy who tried to kidnap their girl, beat her, and lied to her. He ended up in pieces all over the city after being worked over nonstop for a week. You don't touch the girl, and you don't lie to either of them. It isn't worth the trouble. Ah! Oh, ho, ho. You're, us you're losing momentum there, bud. Oh, now it's just fun. <laughs> I'm sorry. Does that make you uncomfortable? Oh, maybe. He's ruining my fun. <laughs> See, I knew that the second they realized I was missing, they'd come looking. You're the one who wasn't diligent enough to take my watch off my wrist. There's a tracker in it, and all I had to do was stall you long enough for them to get here. Ah, <sighs> Thank you, baby. How much did you hear? <laughs> oh, good. So we don't have to wait... Pr we don't have to waste precious time with me telling you what this child was saying. We can just hmm, skip to the good parts. 
<laughs> now, now, sugar, maybe we should wait until we have Junior here take my place. Oh, kiddo. Where do you think you're going? Come back here. Either you come back here or the next bullet goes in your kneecap. That's it. Good boy. Now sit. <laughs> He's a good boy. <laughs> Not you, sweetie pie. You've been very naughty. Time for your punishment. Baby, would you like to begin? <laughs> now don't say I never treat you. Brace yourself, kid. You're in for a long night. <laughs>